everyone and welcome back to Eastwood Zoo and of course happy Planet Zoo DLC launch day because today is the day that the conservation pack uh, yeah, is released and you will watch this video and uh, you will be like yeah, but why are you already building uh, well that's because I had early access so the wonderful people at Frontier provided me with early access so I was already able to play the game for a couple of days before the release so I'm super grateful for that although I yeah I took a little break they still didn't forget me and they still provided me with the uh, with the early access so uh, yeah a great way to jump back into the game and I was really excited about this pack so the conservation pack with like four or five new animals and a lot of new pieces and yeah building pieces that I was yeah, really looking forward to and uh, yeah, it's really uh, hard to explain uh, to uh, to others who don't play Planet Zoo that you are excited uh, about a broomstick uh, being added to a game or like a shovel or whatever. But yeah, I was excited about that. I have been uh, asking for those pieces for a very, very long time. And today, what are we going to do, uh, Zoof? Uh, because you're already talking about uh, brooms. Well, uh, we are going to add a Amur Leopard. Enclosure. I'm not sure if you pronounce it like that. I had to Google that uh, before I started this recording, but I didn't. So uh, yeah, the new leopard. Uh, we are gonna make a wonderful habitat for them, and I was uh, yeah doing my usual research for them, and uh, I only found like these uh, yeah, enclosures that are covered up with like netting and and, and stuff like that. So I was talking uh, to my uh, wonderful friend, Mr. Leader again. And uh, I was like, yeah, I, I'm not going to make netting. Because in this competition that we are building for, you're not allowed to use any blueprints. And I'm not going to make my own netting. Because, yeah, that's going to take me ages. And uh, that's a bit of a waste of uh, yeah, a wonderful time in my early access. So, uh, yeah, he sent me a, a picture of a leopard enclosure and i think it was in barcelona or something uh, which is a really cool modern design and it was uh, actually covered up with with uh, with uh, yeah some kind of mesh fence so i decided to go for that and of course give it my uh, my own twist with all the new building pieces from the conservation pack and uh, of course this rock wall was also not in there uh, but just just the shape of like the the cage and and stuff uh, to make it look realistic uh, yeah that's uh, that's what i uh, that's what I uh, was going for. So, what are we doing? Rocks. Yeah, a lot of rocks. Again. And I was building this and then I found out, oh, these things are climbable. And I don't want my computer to explode. So, um, yeah, I will make sure the uh, the leopards can't reach them in the end. But I I'm really happy with how this like entire build turned out. It's going to be a really, really long video. Um, I cut it down to like 20 minutes, which for me is, is quite long. Um, I don't like these very long speed build videos, uh, but maybe you guys enjoy it. Let me know um, Then I will do it more often, but yeah, it, it was kind of an ambitious project and it's good that I had a lot of time during the uh, Early access I had a weekend off uh, so I had a quite a few hours uh, in the game I think it took me like 10 hours to uh, to build this entire thing and that's quite a lot and uh, so there will be like two outdoor areas there will be a indoor like backstage uh, stuff they were on the back of the building you could already see that i put down all the staff buildings so there will also be like a staff area over there and phew, there was a lot a lot of work uh, and a lot of time that went into this so you also see a couple of cuts uh, during the video for example uh, in a few minutes um yeah i'm not gonna show you the entire rock placement but i will just show you how i did it over here with the with the faux rocks you might remember this technique from uh, uh, Limpopo, I used it over there and uh, yeah, it was all based on a, on a little blueprint I found a couple of months ago and someone made like a nice rock wall with these pieces and I think it's a really clever technique and uh, of course I'm trying it out myself to make something uh, something nice out of it and I think it, uh, it turned out pretty, pretty nicely. Uh, so yeah, this is habitat number one, uh, you can see door where the leopards can go in and then uh, yeah that's on the other side there will be uh, habitat number two you know they can separate the animals if they need to that's always something uh, to keep in mind when you're going for like 
realism. Most of the time you have to be able to uh, separate the animals. Um, so yeah, just make two areas or little quarantine areas, something like that. Um, yeah, the, the, the fencing is horrible. I tried to make it look uh, nice and uh, yeah, I added also some like little details uh, off camera. You won't see that in uh, in the video, but I added like these kind of uh, little bolts and uh, yeah, I'm not looking at piece count with this project because yeah, it's a mini zoo. So I hope uh, we can uh, go completely nuts. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's hard to make this look interesting and make it look nice but I, I'm really happy with uh, how it turned out and uh, yeah you will see that of course in the end of the video there will be uh, some nice cinematics but again uh, with these netting I'm not gonna show you everything I will show you how I made this and uh, which pieces I used yeah the big metal beams and then the smaller fence posts right over here um, yeah I, I'm, I'm not sure about the white color Maybe I will change it uh, later, but yeah, for now I just uh, I was on a bit of a, of a time limit with the ambitious plan I had. So yeah, there we go. We're going uh, into the, the habitat and the uh, leopards really like climbing stuff. So of course we need to have like a lot of stuff that they can uh, climb on. Uh, unfortunately in the game these dead trees are not climbable, which is stupid. Uh, but I made my own. Look at that. Bang. Like these new pieces that were introduced with the Europe pack. I think uh, I'm making uh, some cool climbing frames out of them. Not really sure if the, if the uh, how the animals are gonna use it in game, but I'm not really focusing on that. I already saw a lot of flying leopards um, in this enclosure, but I don't care. It looks realistic and that's what I'm going for. And uh, I don't really care about the animations in game uh, anymore uh, because it's too hard to, to make something look nice and still keep in mind that the animals can use it in my opinion so they will walk around they will jump around they won't escape or anything but yeah it's it's just the way it is these little bushes are new um not sure they're part of the pack i think they are part of the free update uh, but i really like them you will see me using them a lot of different colors and uh, there are a few more little bushes and uh, yeah, Drinka grass. Yeah, also, they also introduced a new uh, color of those. I'm not using them. By the way, if you are here for like, yeah, I want to see more of the uh, the pieces. Yeah, and you make sure you just stick through the video because I will use a lot of the new pieces, a lot of new building pieces. But yeah, in the beginning, I won't really. But yeah, in a couple of minutes, we will uh, start uh, using them because of course, I want to show you guys what's uh, what's in there. Um, yeah, I, I also did a little poll on the, on the, on the channel and asking you guys do you want an overview of the video or a habitat video you guys said no i want a habitat video so that's why i'm doing this i'm trying to use most of the of the new pieces uh yeah so over here we have a beautiful uh yeah door uh, thing um yeah so you can separate the animals you can close the door and uh, i think i heard leader once say okay you always have to have like a shoot a double door uh, so that's uh, what i'm doing here um I'm not sure if I'm gonna still gonna do, but I had this cool idea that the staff was able to walk on top of this, and uh, this will also continue on the indoor section. I still have to make that. Uh, while I'm recording this, it's not 100% finished yet, like the indoor part. I still have to go back in there, but I wanted to get rid of this like voiceover and uh, just uh, yeah, watch the race in a couple of minutes and uh, be able to uh, yeah to play because it's Sunday evening now. So uh, yes. Uh, few, I'm, 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 yeah, a few days back when you were listening to this. That's weird, right? Yeah, good. Rocks, a lot of mini rocks again. Really like that. And uh, I'm copying uh, this beautiful climbing frame over uh, to the other side, making some small variations to it, add a bit more of these birch trees. And yeah, I'm really happy with how this thing is turning out. And I have a great idea for new climbing frames uh, to, to make something like that. And uh, yeah, over here using the bamboo to cover up the uh, the rocks. Otherwise, the leopards are gonna climb everything. They will escape, and uh, I think will uh, cause a huge frame drop. I don't want that, of course. So uh, yeah, covering it up and adding a lot of these little plants. They are really, really nice. Did I already say that? Yeah, I did a couple of times. But yeah, I'm just super happy with it. So uh, yeah, more rocks. See, this will be a beautiful spot for the guests to. Uh, 
to look at them. Um, I also did a, like, a bit of work off camera in the park. I added like these guest spawners and uh, the whole thing is like usable now. So sometimes you will see some guests walking around, which is cool. I planned uh, a couple of things out already where I want habitats, where I want the pathing to go. And yeah, it's, uh, it's going to be nice. I'm happy that I'm, I'm really in a flow right now and trying to use it as much as possible that I'm um, in this creative flow. Oh, yeah, this is the start of the indoor section. Very nice uh, indoor section. Yeah, again, this the same door. I'm adding a floor, very important. There's no grass on the inside. And oh, boom, there's a roof. Very nice, everything is covered up. So uh, yeah, you won't, uh, yeah, won't see any uh, crazy things. So, uh, and then, uh, yeah, we continue on the, uh, on the fencing. Um, I won't be finishing the entire indoor section in this video uh, because yeah, the camera work is really tedious and I tried with like this uh, trick I, I heard in uh, Rudy's video that you can build in explorer mode but that's not really my thing uh, it's it's still horrible and I don't want to record anything like that because you can see like walls flashing around and uh, yeah indoor spaces I will only uh, cover it when I don't have a roof in yet or something like that but I still wanted to show you guys uh, what I'm doing and uh, yeah, of course you will see it in the in the end of the video, uh, what's what's happening on the uh, on the indoor part? Um, but yeah, it's uh, quite simple. Just some fencing. First, I didn't want to do it, but still, I, I like to to do these kind of things, and uh, it just yeah it gives it a a little extra touch. Uh, moving the habitat door. Um, yeah, the only thing I'm not sure if I'm gonna put this on a workshop yet. Um, but yeah, if you want to use it, you have to move the animals into the habitat. Uh, like on the uh, on the outdoor section, I think, or not? Oh, they can move. No, no, no. That was the thing with the, where the door was first. That was the problem. That's why I moved it. Oh, I'm oh, I'm so stupid. But uh, yeah, the doors uh, finishing that up, and over here I, you can already see my plan with like the staff uh, being able to move over it, and then there will be a door to the outdoor section where they can also uh, go on top of the the little uh, chute. And there we are on the roof. Uh, we're gonna yeah, use the new pieces as you can see. So we have these new wooden pieces. Uh, I, I probably know that in real life this won't be made out of wood. But first I wanted to use these pieces. And secondly I like the little texture on it. So uh, yeah. What, what, uh, yeah. It's nice. But uh, yeah what are we making? We're making a nice little green roof over here. So I'm using these kind of things. So uh, we have like this uh, this uh, overhang where the water can uh, stay in. And then we have this metal frame so the water can go inside underneath the grass. And these pieces are also new. So I'm, I'm super happy with these uh, because it saves you a lot of frame rate and a lot of piece count. Because we, yeah, we use this quite a lot in, uh, for example, Ruma Asia. And I think we can really, uh, I don't know... Uh, have like 90% less piece count on the main building because of these new pieces. Uh, so I think we should go back in there and change it all uh, just to make sure that we have a little bit more frame rate because right now when you're building next to uh, next to the building it's horrible you have like a frame drop. Um, so yeah that won't happen uh, with this uh, with these new pieces so that's great. Um, yeah I'm, I'm really always struggling with like roofs uh, yeah, they, they're trying to make them look interesting, but I'm super happy with how this one turned out. Uh, yeah, I, I googled a bit like green roofs and uh, watched how they uh, normally are built up. And uh, usually it does a bit of gravel uh, between the grass and, uh, and the actual uh, roof uh, thing on the side. Uh, I tried something like that with like small uh, rock pieces, but it was too tedious and they were too big. And I tried with pathing, but that doesn't work if it's like flying around um, so yeah there are no gravel here uh, but I, I still think that it's turning out quite nicely you can see that in these new green roof pieces they have a bit of a wobbly uh, a shape in it but if you cover it up with like these new plants and, and flowers and grass it looks really nice so uh, yeah I'm, uh, I'm super happy with these pieces as well 
like all the new grass and, and flowers I think that's gonna make a, a nice uh, nice little extra uh, thing in the game uh, moving this uh, thing also uh, to the lower part there won't be a green roof over here uh, because that will be like this the staff area as you can see uh, I put all the staff, bu staff buildings in there just to make the yeah this zoo uh, usable in game and then we're gonna try out all the new pieces over here uh, we have these new gutter uh, system pieces I really like them I think they're better than the square ones I think it's a bit more uh, yeah, realistic uh, these these wonderful drains uh, everywhere I'm adding like these small details I'm, I'm yeah trying to focus a bit more on that make this uh, horrible like gray part of the building and make it look interesting with all the new props that we are having and uh, thinking about the uh, the water drainage and stuff like that so, so yeah the, the crates and the, the water hoses and the shovels uh, testing them all uh, this had a name I don't know dumpsters uh, yeah, it actually had a, had a good name and I and I forgot how to uh, translate it and then someone commented in my video and they gave me the word for it and now I already forgot that's nice yeah, so potatoes, and you're like, eh, leopards don't eat potatoes. But then no meat pieces, uh, that's a bit of a shame. Um, so I pretend that the potatoes is a poop or something, I don't know. Um, I'm trying to recreate the, the wreck that was in the, in the trailer over here. But it didn't work out, so I will replace the aluminum pieces with wood. And that looks much better. Um... Not, not sure if I'm really happy with this wreck. Uh, I might go back and, and change it a little bit. Uh, use the fence post instead of these uh, little beams. Because it doesn't look re very stable uh, right now. Uh, yeah. Again, these uh, new wood pieces. They are really nice. Not not super realistic. bit more cartoony. But uh, yeah, as what Lido would say. That fits my uh, style of building. So uh, yeah. That's very nice. Uh, yeah, p throwing these racks around, bang, bang, yeah, a lot of them, then add all these crates, and, and, yeah, very nice, very nice voiceover again, right, yeah, um, it's a long one, so I have to keep talking, and, uh, I talk a lot, but don't really say anything, yeah, that's, uh, one of my talents, one of many, uh, yeah, these things also uh, copied it a little bit from the trailer. Just experimenting a little bit with all the new pieces, see what I can do with them. All recolorable, of course. I will throw a lot of boxes here. Bang, in the container. Bang, throw them away. Uh, a lot of hay in there. Yeah, very nice. Some random props. I will also add some benches for the staff so they can... Uh, chill and rest and uh, yeah very nice I also added uh, that was off camera camera though uh, a fence on the outside so I can do some foliage and basically uh, yeah, see the border of the zoo and then we finish up the front of the habitat because we didn't do that uh, again it was based on the same reference image from the zoo in Barcelona so you will have these big concrete uh, yeah thing that you, the guests can lean against and watch the animals you will still have enough space between the habitat so the, uh, the guests won't be able to stick their hands through the fence and get bit or something. We don't want that. Well, it would be funny, of course. But uh, yeah, in real life, you won't, uh, you don't want to uh, have that. So uh, yeah, these bushy bush. Look at that. A lot of bush everywhere. And uh, yeah, I, I, first time I'm like really filling the entire space with foliage. Normally I will let like terrain paint come through. But I felt like, yeah, this should be like covered up completely. So I'm doing that with like the grass and the new bush pieces. And uh, I actually like it. I actually like it. So uh, probably in a week I won't like it anymore. I will start deleting some of the plants. But uh, that's uh, that's the, uh, the way the cookie crumbles, I guess. So uh, yeah, that's almost the end of the video. Uh, we will do uh, the fencing, uh, some pathing. Uh, things uh, uh yeah basically finishing everything uh, up you can see I already planned some things with the stairs and a little building on the back but, uh, that's gonna be uh, for the next episode let me know uh, which animal you would like to see next uh probably adding the uh, siamang uh, thing uh, to the to this park as well uh, for the new uh, conservation pack so yeah i hope you guys will enjoy the new pack uh, if you enjoyed the video uh, hit that like button if you're not subscribed yet and uh, make sure you do 
And uh, I'm going to speak to you guys in the next episode. Yoo-yoo!